नमस्ते लेट इस वर्क आउट टू मोर प्रॉब्लम्स विच हैज विच हैव अपीयर्ड इन द क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ मैंगलोर यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग डिटेल्स एस एट इन द क्रेडिट सेल्स सो वी हैव टू एस एट इन द क्रेडिट सेल्स विच अकाउंट वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर डेटर्स अकाउंट राइट ओपनिंग डेटर्स दे हैव गिवन कैश रिसीव फ्रॉम डेटर्स चेक्स रिसीव फ्रॉम डेटर्स बिल्स रिसीवेबल ड्यूरिंग रिसीव ड्यूरिंग द इयर checks from debtors dishonored bad debts written off sales written bills receivable dishonored closing debtors so all this information is given what we are supposed to do we have to see one by one and we have to check whether it appears on the debit side or credit side you know debtors account always shows debit balance that means opening should come on the debit side and whatever increases the value of debtors will be written on the debit side and whatever decreases the value of debtors that will be written on the credit side we had worked out uh, many problems so debtors account to opening balance correct opening balance then which are the items come on the debit side see here cash received from debtors Three lakh sixty thousand. What do you mean by this? We are receiving the cash from the debtors. That means the total debtors amount will come down, right? Three lakh sixty thousand. Checks received from debtors again fifty thousand. When we are receiving something, the debtors amount will come down. Check received from debtors by bank account because it is check. Then bills receivable received during the year ten thousand. When we are receiving the bills receivable, what happens again? The debtors amount will come down. Bills receivable account. Next checks from debtors dishonored. This means what? We have received the checks, but it is dishonored. What happens? One thousand. See when we are receiving the check, here we are writing right by bank account, so it will decrease the value. But on the due date, if they fail to make the payment, what happens? The check gets cancelled, right? So again, it will add to the value of debtors. So whenever a check is received, cash is received, bills receivable is received, this will decrease the value of total debtors, and if any Of this failed, then it will again add the value. So to bank account check dishonored, one thousand. Next, bad debt written off, sales written. You know all these things. This will decrease the value of debtors. So bad debts, sales written. Then bills receivable dishonored. I told you when you are receiving something, that will decrease. Dishonored means it will increase. And closing debtors they have given. So bad debts, sales written. Then closing debtors is given here. so first what you are supposed to do is you have to understand all these things if anything which increases the value you have to write on the debit side anything which decreases the value you have to write on the credit side so you know uh, see all these things will decrease the value bills receivable dishonored it will decrease the value so you are writing here so closing balance you have written here so total 4 lakh 77000 The balancing figure four lakh thirty five thousand. That is the credit sales. Clear? The next uh, problem here they have given from the following particulars. From the following, prepare. Uh, we we need to prepare debtors account. This is total debtors account, total creditors account, and find out credit sales and credit purchases. 
So as you know, debtors opening, creditors opening balance, debtors closing balance, creditors closing balance. So first thing you should understand the format. So all these things where it appear. Bills payable issued during the year. Whenever we are issuing the bills payable, so bills payable to whom we are issuing creditors. So it should appear on the creditors account. Where debit side or credit side. Whenever we are issuing the bills payable, that will decrease the value. See creditors account. Creditors account always shows credit balance. Opening balance is credit, right? So credit side will increase the value and debit side will decrease the value. Correct? So credit side, this will increase the value. And debit side will decrease the value of creditors. But debtors case, debit side will increase the value of debtors and credit side will decrease the value of debtors. So each item we can see one by one. So bills payable issued during the year. What happens? Credit creditors debit side. Cash received from the customers. First you should understand which account it goes. Then debit side or credit side. Okay. Cash received from debtors. We are receiving the cash from the debtors. Received from customers means whom? They are the debtors. So it appears in the debtors account. Which side? When we are receiving the cash, this will decrease the value of debtors. Right. Cash paid to suppliers. Suppliers means creditors. So creditors account. Whenever we are pay paying the cash, it will decrease the value. So decrease value means debit. So creditors, debit side. Cash return, return to customers. So we are giving the cash to the customers. Customers. When customers comes, it is debtors, right? Debtors. But when we are returning the cash to the customers means what? Again, they have to pay more. So debtors amount will increase. So debit side. Discount allowed to customers. Customers, debtors account, this is 1500, debtors account, when we are gi giving the discount, it will decrease the value of debtors. Bad debts written off, again bad debts, debtors, credit side because it is decreasing the value. Bills receivable endorsed to creditors, that means what, we got a bills receivable from, some, from our debtor, that bill we are giving to the creditors. So, it is given to the creditors, creditors account it will decrease the value of our total creditors. So debit side. Bills receivable dishonored by the customers. So customers, what happens? Debtors account, when it gets dishonored, the they haven't made the payment. So the value of debtors will increase. So when it gets cancelled, bill gets cancelled, it should be added to the, added back to the debtors right so it will increase the value endorsed bill receivable dishonored endorsed bill receivable to whom we are endorsing creditors right so creditors account when it gets dishonored what happens when the bill gets cancelled it will increase the creditors increase means credit side so creditors credit side discounted bills receivable dishonored discounted bills receivable so, bills receivable, we are receiving from the debtors, right? So, debtors account we are writing, okay? When it gets dishonored, when it gets cancelled, what will happen? Again, the value of debtors will increase. So, debit side. Sales return, you know, sales return. We are selling to the debtors, customers, that is debtors. Sales return, what will happen? When they are returning it, Total value of debtors will come down. So credit set. Purchases returns. So we are purchasing and we are returning. Returning to whom? Creditors. So what will happen? Purchases returns. When we are returning, whatever amount we have to give them, that will come that will come down, right? The same thing. Purchases return. Creditors on the debit set because it will decrease the value. So same thing we are writing, total debtors, opening balance. So all these things will increase the value, cash, okay, because it is returned. 
bills receivable dishonored creditors dishonored bank discounted bill dishonored debit side it will decrease the value cash received discount allowed bad debts sales returns closing balance so the balancing figure will be what is that credit sales debtors also same thing debtors debit side and credit side sorry uh, this is creditors so creditors credit side balance brought down then debtors account endorsed bill dishonored here bills payable account cash paid bills receivable endorsed purchases returns this will decrease the value and this will increase the value closing balance is given so the balancing figure will be credit purchases clear i i hope you understood the problem work out then it will be easy for you thank you